problems that could not then be solved by the official uh, delegations in Washington. What changed everything was the readiness to recognize the PLO. And this was the readiness of Rabin through the process of the months of 93. Once it was a mutual recognition between the State of Israel and the PLO, then it became the main show and the talks in Washington became secondary. There is a big change in the situation and the big change is this person named John Kerry. Without him, nothing would have happened, but nothing. The mere fact that he came to the region for six times enabled us to, pre to, to reopen uh, these, uh, these negotiations because it was very difficult for both sides to say no to the American Secretary of State after so many visits, exactly as it happened in the, conference of, uh, in the Madrid conference in 91. I didn't need the Americans in Oslo. I didn't need the Americans in the informal Geneva Initiative. I didn't need the Americans in the agreement between Israel and Jordan. I didn't need them. But now I need them badly because the two parties are a little bit lazy and passive. Sometimes when you have a situation whereby the Israelis or the Palestinians are very eager to solve the problem as it was in 1992, 1993, 94, you don't need the Americans, you don't need the Europeans, you don't need anybody. They can do it because they understand that this is their national interest. But if they are not eager enough, if they are passive, then you need a third party. And here was the third party. We are not getting to an agreement without a third party. There is no other th third party. The Europeans are not there for us. They are not there for us. So you have the Americans. They are the only superpower in the world. They are the ones who will help us also economically when there is an agreement because much money will be involved in the implementation of any agreement. And uh, this is why I believe that the best thing is that the negotiations will take uh, place in Washington. But do you need a real even-handed negotiator between the two parties? This is the role of the negotiator, or to be a strong enough one in order to have influence on the parties? Well, I think that uh, for the Palestinians, the, relations, the special relations between Israel and the United States is a, an advantage and not a disadvantage because they know that if the Americans are convinced about something, it is easier for them to get it from Israel. I think that the, the special relations between Israel and the United States are very, very important for Israel, very important. It doesn't mean that from time to time we are not being spoiled by these uh, good relations. But if you ask me whether I'm ready to give up on them, the answer is negative. There is no dichotomy between rights and needs. I think that you can never forget the rights, you can never put them aside, but they should never tie you to a situation in which there is no solution, which has been the situation in the last years. The Israelis are speaking about their rights, the Palestinians are speaking of, about their rights, and in the meantime they kill each other. In Israel, you have a rightist government. It is ideologically motivated and believes that building a settlement is the, the, the Israeli right and that is what they are going to continue until there is another agreement. If there is an agreement, a permanent agreement or even an interim agreement, which will prevent them from uh, settling, then they will not settle. And uh, this is why one of the reasons uh, for, for me to urge for an agreement we are speaking about the government, which is a very right-wing government with an ideology to build in the settlements, to build infrastructure, including the railways in the, in the settlement. The whole world is against it, but as long as the world somehow is living with it, there is an acquiescence this way or another, they will continue. 
As long as there is no real border, as long as there is no Palestinian state, as long as there is no agreement, and as long as this government of Netanyahu is there, this will continue.